Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in email marketing, we'll discuss about how to avoid spamming. What spamming is all about, how you can avoid it, what are the things that you need to do to make sure you are not spamming and so on and so forth. Let's get started with it. What is spamming? Spamming is sending unsolicited emails to users which they have not requested. Number one and number two repeated emails. These are the most two important factors that actually are considered as spamming. Sending unsolicited emails. I am actually a person, a professional. I actually get information, a lot of emails, it could be personal emails, it could be professional emails, it could be business emails. But suddenly I start getting emails from people I have not known, I never met them, I never heard them and I actually do not know who they are and they keep sending me emails, that is spamming, they are spamming me. They are abusing the email marketing campaigns. Those are unsolicited emails. I did not request them to send me an email, whatever the product or service or a solution they might be selling. I did not ask them to send me an email, but still they are forcing those emails on me. They are gate crashing into my inbox. That is unsolicited emails and unsolicited emails are considered as spam mails. It happens, some of the mails they send, they end up in spam box or junk box, but sometimes they do end up in your inbox and that is actually the most irritating factor for me as a user. When I did not request for an email to be received from them, they keep sending me unsolicited emails. The second factor is repeated emails. Somebody has sent me an email in the morning, again there is a mail from them in the afternoon, again there is a mail from them in the evening. They kept sending repeated, repeated emails. They are spamming me. And in short, in email marketing, this spamming will never work and it should be avoided in every email marketing campaign, in whichever the business that you are in. How to avoid spamming? Never send unsolicited emails. Don't buy email IDs from somewhere where people are, lot of people are sending, selling email IDs. Don't buy email IDs from there. The email IDs are not something that need to be bought. Get solicited emails. Request people to leave their email ID and name get them subscribed and send solicited emails. Unsolicited emails will not work. The best practice that you can do if you are doing email marketing is request people to leave their name and email ID, get them subscribed, they agree to that privacy policy, then start sending the emails to them. That is the best way of doing it. Avoid using works like click here once in a lifetime opportunity. We see a lot of emails that we receive from people using the words like click here once in a lifetime opportunity, a golden opportunity, I will make you rich, so on and so forth. They are spammed words. They are words that should not be used in a serious business. If you are a serious business, if you are a serious professional and if you want to convert leads into customers through email marketing campaigns, Make sure that you avoid such words. Don't promise that you cannot deliver. Using all caps, they are very loud. Using all caps is like shouting at people. Avoid using all caps. Avoid being loud in images. Big loud images will never work. Make sure that you use subtle images, very clear images, and these images gel with the kind of content that you are actually putting in your emails. Sloppy formatting. We use different email templates. These templates come in different shapes, different sizes, for different occasions, for different email marketing campaigns. It could be announcements, it could be announce invitations, it could be, you know, product launches. Make sure that you use an ideal template for your business, what kind of business that you are into and what kind of emails you are sending and make sure the email is completely correctly form, form, formatted. 
avoid sloppy formatting this irritates people and they think and they we convey the kind of message that we are not serious about our business content full of typos one side you are sending completely unformatted email the other there are typos in that they will destroy your business spend a lot of time in understanding what kind of content and the what kind of images that you have in your email and to whom you are sending who are the intended audience what kind of template is needed for that kind of audience and for that kind of emails and make sure that you spend considerable amount of time on the content the copy of your email make sure you double check and format having a content that is error free and these are the following things that you can use to avoid being spammed what is spam test make sure you have a spam test email before sending this is a very very good practice that you can implement using tools like mailingcheck.com to check emails these tools help you whether the email that you are proposing to send to your internet customers is spam free mailteaser.com uses a form based solution to test your emails people use this tool beside there are lot many tools available some of them are paid tools which help you in ensuring that the mail you are sending is spam free these tools will actually analyze your email and give you the guidelines necessary for it in conclusion what we have seen in this video is what is spamming how to avoid spamming and spam test Thank you so much for watching hope to see you again